a sad resting place for a historic vessel. She was built as a ferry to run between the island and Portsmouth, and she saw service in the Second World War. During D-Day, Normandy landings, she was there at Omaha Beach, uh, firing on the German positions. After the war, she found herself back on the Solent, and she was also chartered for some rather glamorous events. The paddle steamer ride has had a chequered career, and she's still on active service on the more mundane run, taking day trippers from Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight. But now she's out of that particular harness for a few days at least, and all dressed up as an Edwardian gin palace. Finally coming out of service as a ferry in 1970, her connections with the Isle of Wight were secured as she found another life as a floating hotel in the Island Harbour Marina in Newport. The original marina owners, uh, the Redettes, they saved her straight away and brought her over in 1970. So she's been here ever since, so 47 years she's been here now. A fire in August 1977 almost destroyed her, but she was restored and became a popular nightclub running into the late 1980s. Dave Cannon was resident DJ in that time. People came from all over, uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights, very, very busy. Eight o'clock till one. If you came before ten, it was 50 pence to get in. After ten, it was a pound. I've heard stories that there could be up to a thousand people a night uh, on the busy nights here. Why do you think her popularity waned? Well, times were changing, I suppose. Um, the 80s, the music changed. Like now, there are no nightclubs on the Isle of Wight. Not one at all. Well, they will stay in pubs all night till two o'clock in the morning. Today, she remains on the National Historic Ships Register. In 2010, a campaign was launched to save her from being scrapped. The best alternative they found was to have her as a fixed feature here on a, on a concrete base, um, as a, a museum, a conference centre, restaurant, but uh, unfortunately that was even going to cost many, many millions of pounds and ultimately it proved just to be unfeasible. Well, after a temporary reprieve in 2010, now on her 80th anniversary, it looks like time's finally running out for Ride Queen. <laughs>